Yo, awesome guys, back another video. So we're back again, looking at the mess of a love triangle between Tony Lopez, Nikita Dragon, and Sophie Dossie. As most of you guys know by now, there's an active giveaway on my channel for two of these Air Pros. If you're interested in winning a free pair of these, all you've got to do, just click the top link in the description and follow the set steps. In my last video, we checked out the new information about Tony Lopez and Sophie Dossie more likely dating, getting closer together, and then Nikita Dragon was the picture. Well, it seems Nikita, she's having none of this because yesterday she was seen wilding out in Tony's car. Now you can say, oh, they're mates, they're having a bit of fun, but the fact that she's probably twerking, going crazy in the back of his car seems otherwise. All the comments under that video were saying stuff like, they seem good together. Watch him post Sophie tomorrow, and I hope he don't play with her feelings. At this point, Tony Lopez, he's an unpredictable guy. He seems to be in his whole face. He cannot make his mind up from what he wants to do. Yesterday, Tony Lopez and Nikita Dragon, they were seen locking arms, leaving the hype house, and as he always does, the Hollywood Fix guy was lurking in the bushes and managed to get an interview. I would actually show clips of the interview itself, but the Hollywood Fix guy, he's known for copyright claiming anyone who uses his videos. But then a day after Nikita and Tony getting very very comfortable in the car to say the least he goes on live and says him and Nikita are like brother and sister guys Nikita and I are just be like we're best friends like brother sister you guys are triple you guys are like over exaggerating I'm sorry you could not say you're like brother and sister and then being a car twerking she's going crazy that's kind of incestory literally everyone in the comment section was agreeing and saying stuff like yeah because brother and sister's twerking each other and Nikita don't think that it does kind of seem like Nikita's the one pushing a relationship pushing them together online whereas Tony's only seen her as a friend because he's got other plans yesterday Nikita posted an Instagram picture and for some reason tagged Tony Lopez on her backside where Tony Lopez in fact commented Love what you tagged. So who knows at this point, this guy's head is twisted every five minutes. One day Nikita, the next Sophie, but tomorrow he's gonna have a new girl. A few days ago, in fact, both Tony and Nikita went live in a big old Lamborghini. Yes, yeah, I'm live right now. We in a Lambo. Heading home. Heading home. Just got some tacos with Nikita. Yes, sir. You're gonna literally get this fucking on the damn. What is that? TikTok room called? Room. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Tony, answer the answer the live. Did you give me the necklace? Did you put the necklace on me yet? Yes. No? Okay. So everyone's class. Everyone was questioning about her. The necklace being on her neck. I put it on her. What sort of money does Nikita has? Because of course, before this Tony situation, I didn't really have any clue who she was because I don't really watch makeup videos. But the fact that she's got a Lambo, I swear, all these makeup artists are so rich. I put it on her. That's she was like, she was like, she was like, oh, wait. She said, the necklace, I want to wear it. And I was like, oh, wait, that's a great idea. Here, let me put because it on Because guess what? Link in bio, future merch coming Yes. Out. Thank you. Look, I wasn't lying. We are coming out with uh, chains with me, Andre's name, and then a Lopez chain. So, a little, little, little promo. A little pro and, and guess what? Now y'all want it? Oh! <laughs> what is everybody up to? Most of you already know that TikTok room and Instagram of around like 800k followers. That is so vital to keep these TikTokers relevant because whether they do anything controversial or anything slightly on the edge, it's posted there non-stop, instant, keeping them relevant 24-7. Talking about being relevant, if you're this far into the video and you're still not joining Loafers, what are you doing? Smash that red button. Although what is conflicting, a couple of days back, he was seen on a live stream saying that he has a big crush on Sophie. We're, from, we're both from Alabama. Yep. We, we were born in... They asked, do you have a crush on Addison? <laughs> it's like I just laid on like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> hey dude, I was wondering, do you have a crush on Sophie Dossie? Just a question. Yeah. Oh. Big crush. Oh, alright. Just funny. Thanks for clarifying that. I was just, I was just asking. 
But what's confusing me right now, I've heard a big cost on Sophie, your thing, they do TikToks all the time, always be posting together, but it seems Nikita's literally doing that with him. Well, the only post I could find about Tony and Sophie was when he tweeted out yesterday, I heard that at Sophie Dossie wants a puppy for a birthday. So it seems he's been kind of generous to his two sightings. You love to see it. Both Tony and Nikita have done this TikTok challenge or like trend, the who most likely to, some sort of waffle like that. Who's the meanest? Most likely to get into a fight. Most emotional. Most likely to do weird things in public. Most likely to get pregnant after a one night stand. Who catches feelings quickest? Most likely to break someone's heart. Who's the funniest? Who's the alcoholic? Most likely to get cheated on? Most likely to catch an STD? Most likely to become a porn star? Okay, some really juicy questions right now. They're all saying Tony Lopez is most likely to break someone's heart and even Nikita voted him. Now, I don't know if Nikita's trying to indirectly say something to us, not trying to cry for help, trying to say that Tony's maybe friends on her. Comment down below what you lot think. As you guys know, on my channel, I like to give the most active scars out their shout outs, whether you're sitting there in the friend zone or not, and like, you know what? Just give me a shout out. All you gotta do is just be active on the channel, whether it's constantly like and going subscribing, all different videos. And today, I got someone called Samaya Abdullahi. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Much appreciated. There was also another video of Tony where I wasn't happy in the slightest. Can you guys point out my main concern with that video? I'll give you three seconds. His hands aren't on the bloody steering wheel. Like it's all fun and games, having a bit of a boogie in the car, but when your hands are on the steering wheel, put them on now immediately, Tony, or I'm gonna snitch. Anyway, guys, I've got a video. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts about this whole situation in the comments down below. Remember, spam hashtag loafers in the comments. Follow up my social media, Instagram at LoafTube, same as Twitter. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.